Hi guys, welcome to VMAP. The topic for today is how to examine if a number is a perfect square number or not. So let's get started. There are two conditions to examine if a number is a perfect square number or not. So the condition one is that the number at the units place shouldn't be 2, 3, 7, 8 and a single 0. I repeat it shouldn't be. The condition number 2, the digital sum of the number should be 1, 4, 7 and 9. To understand it better, let's do some example. First, let's take 64. Find the digital sum of 64. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 and 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Note that the digital sum should be in single digit and the digital sum is 1 so yes it is a perfect square number now 107 you can see that the number at the units place is 7 and it means that it is not a perfect square number and my condition number 2 I told you that the units place shouldn't be 7, 8, 2 or 3 now 289 so first we will take the digital sum of 289 2 plus 8 plus 9 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 9 is 19 and again 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 and then 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. You can see that the digital sum is 1, it means it is a perfect square number and we know that uh, 289 is the square root of 17. The next number 1 to 9 6. First we will do the digital sum that is 1 plus 2 plus 9 plus 6. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 9 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, again 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, we can note that the digital sum is 9 and yes it is a perfect square number and we know that it is the square root of 36. Let's take the digital sum of 5 to 9, 5 plus 2 plus 9, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 9 is 16, Again, 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. So the digital sum is 7. It means it is a perfect square number and being the square root of 23. Now let's take 5 to 9, 9. The digital sum of 5 to 9, 9. 5 plus 2 plus 9 plus 9. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. And again, 2 plus 5 is 7. The digital sum is 7, but you have to note that one thing that two odd numbers can never be together even if the digital sum is 1, 4, 7 and 9. I have written it here. Now 286, the digital sum 2 plus 8 plus 6, 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16 and again 1 plus 6 is 7. Even in this sum, the digital sum is 7. But you have to note one thing that whenever the 6 is at the units place, the number at the tens place should always be an odd number. Now we will see in the next example that is 256. So first we will find the digital sum 2 plus 5 plus 6. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. Again, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So yes, my digital sum is 4. It means it is a perfect square number. And yes, it is a square root of 16. You have to remember one thing that zeros should always be in pairs. It means 2, 4, 6 and 8. So now you can see there are two zeros. It means it is a perfect square number. In the next sum, you can see there are three zeros. It means it is not a perfect square number. Again in the next you can see there are 4 zeros. It means it is a perfect square number. The digital sum of 160 is equal to 7. But note there is a single zero. It means it is not a perfect square number. In the next sum again we will find the digital sum which is 7. And note there are 2 zeros. It means it is a perfect square number. Let's take the digital sum of 65536. 6. 6 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6 which is equal to 
25 again 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 so yes the digitals are missed 7 you have to note one more thing that next to 6 there is an odd number it means it is a perfect square number and it is a square root of 256 now the next number 23654 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 which is equal to 20 which is equal to 2 plus 0 and which is again equal to 2 it means that it is not a perfect square number because the digital sum is 2 and it should always be 1 4 7 and 9 i hope you understood this topic please subscribe to our youtube channel and share it with your friends thank you